Commuters at the Murtala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos will now have a new experience at the new terminal inaugurated by President Mohammed Buhari earlier today. Abela Shulanke witnessed it all and now reports. This is the second visit of President Buhari to Lagos this year. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu, his Yobe State counterparts, May Malabuni and Minister of Aviation Hadi Sirika were among dignitaries in attendance. According to the president, the facility was built on a landmass of about 56,000 square meters with 66 check-in counters with capacity to process 14 million passengers annually. It's an eloquent testimony to the strong commitment of our administration to the development of world-class infrastructure across all sectors of the Nigerian economy. Our continuous investment in the building of long-lasting infrastructure in the aviation, road and rail transportation, agriculture, telecommunications and other critical sectors is yielding massive results and the people of Nigeria are now increasingly attesting to benefiting from the associated dividends. The long-awaited facility is expected to create an avenue for old international terminal to be overhauled. Some lawmakers and concessionaires at the airport describe the project as capable of transforming socio-economic fortunes of the country. I also want to thank FAN for the wonderful opportunity given to concessionaires like us, Sula, and some other concessionaires. You know, it's going to create an enabling environment for businesses like us to thrive. This airport is commendable. I mean, the terminal is commendable. There have been need to open more frontiers, more cities, you know, to Nigeria. So both the population will be increasing, more airlines will be coming up. The terminal project is coming eight years behind shadow. While every new thing like this terminal brings joy, how effective the maintenance culture areas will determine for how long the joy will last. To many Nigerians, the high airfare occasioned by scarcity of aviation fuel requires urgent attention. Abiola Sholanke, TVC News, Lagos.